September is Suicide Awareness Month. My name is Catherine Parkinson. I'm an intern counselling psychologist at Rhodes University's Counselling Centre. I want to share a few common myths about suicide with you because I think that it's very important that we talk about suicide in order to reduce the stigma around suicide. The first myth I want to talk about is the idea that if we talk about suicide, this will lead to an increased risk of suicide. Talking about suicide will not mean that somebody goes and commits suicide. In fact, many depressed individuals feel a great sense of relief when they realize and feel able to share their thoughts about suicide and plans about suicide and to get the support and feel that they are not alone. The second myth I want to talk about is the idea that suicide is an impulsive act. Many individuals have communicated or shared their thoughts or feelings about suicide prior to committing suicide. The next myth is the idea that people who talk about suicide are just looking for attention. There is a difference between looking for attention and crying out for help. People who talk about suicide feel that they need support. It's important that we offer them a safe space to talk about suicide and to feel supported. The next myth is the idea that people who commit suicide are selfish or weak. Many people who commit suicide have a mental disorder, whether this was recognized or not. It's important to know that people who commit suicide are dealing with intense emotions and pain. The South African Depression and Anxiety Group is an excellent resource available in South Africa. They also offer an emergency crisis line. Rhodes University students have the counselling centre available to them. Many individuals might feel ashamed to talk about their thoughts of suicide or think that if they talk about suicide, they will be admitted directly to a psychiatric facility. This is not the case. If an individual is an immediate risk to themselves, the psychologist and the individual will make plans to ensure that that person is kept safe. If an individual has been having thoughts of suicide, the psychologist and that individual will talk about ways to alleviate these thoughts and feelings and f offer better ways to cope with them. Never feel ashamed to talk about suicide. There is support available. Talk to someone. You are not alone.